video, I'm going to be talking about what to consider before getting vaccinated against COVID-19 while you are pregnant. Then I'm going to talk about getting the vaccine while you are breastfeeding. But first, my name is Diana. I'm a physician assistant. I specialize in women's health and gynecology. You are watching In the Pink, and if you're new here, In the Pink means in good health and spirit. So if you like being healthy and happy, click subscribe because you are in the right place. So for all you women out there who are pregnant, you are faced with a decision about whether or not to get the COVID-19 vaccination. As of today, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine are available and show an efficacy of about 95%. Both are what's called an mRNA vaccine. And while it's new to vaccinations, mRNA science has been well understood and studied for about a decade. Unfortunately, neither Pfizer nor Moderna included pregnant women in their first round of COVID clinical trials. This is unfortunate, but pretty typical of clinical trials, but is being debated now because pregnant patients have been dubbed the last therapeutic orphans. And in the case of COVID, pregnant individuals are left with a difficult decision without knowing safety data from a controlled trial. Not only that, we know that COVID-19 is more dangerous for pregnant women than it is for women of childbearing age who are not pregnant. Pregnant women with COVID-19 are five times more likely to wind up in the ICU or on a ventilator. If you get a severe case of COVID-19 when you're pregnant, you are more likely to have preterm birth and pregnant patients are more likely to die from COVID than someone of your same age and health without COVID. Now I know this sounds like a terrible predicament for every pregnant woman, but we are not completely in the dark about this, far from it in fact. Even without the safety data from the clinical trials about pregnant women, there is still quite a lot that we know that can still help you make your decision. So here's what we know so far. The mRNA vaccine, so the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccines are 95% effective against getting the infection. Now we are still waiting to find out how effective it will be with the new variant from South Africa, although both Moderna and Pfizer have confirmed their vaccines still work against this variant, just maybe not as effectively. There's still definitely some protection and we will know more as they are able to study this more closely. We also know that as the incidence of COVID infections go up in your community, so will your chances of getting the infection. As I mentioned earlier, you have a greater risk of severe disease, ICU admission, the need for a ventilator, and even death if you are pregnant with COVID. Here's what we know about the vaccines and pregnant women. During the clinical trials, 36 women did become pregnant while in the trial and zero of them had complications from the vaccine. In addition to this, there have been some small but promising studies about women passing antibodies onto their babies. We know that the vaccine mRNA cannot reach the baby because it will degrade too quickly. mRNA does not alter DNA. They will not alter the DNA of the mom or the baby. The vaccines don't harm the placenta and they don't cause infertility. Now, neither the Pfizer or the Moderna vaccines are live viruses. They are not even dead viruses. The reason that I point this out is because there are live vaccinations available, such as the varicella and the MMR vaccine, and they're not recommended for pregnancy because there is a theoretical risk that the live vaccination could cross the placenta and infect the baby. So we don't want to give them when you are pregnant but there is no virus dead or alive in these COVID vaccinations. So with all of that information, you have to decide against what we know as risks of getting COVID-19 when you're pregnant against the theoretical risks of getting the vaccination when you're pregnant, which we believe to be very, very low. I wish we had the data to offer known risks, if any, with getting the COVID vaccine for pregnant women. I really do. I think that we'll be able to have that down the road, but that doesn't help you right now. What I hope will help you is to know that based off of all of the information that we do know, the CDC and the FDA both recommend that pregnant women get the vaccination. And the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, or ACOG, quote, vaccines should not be withheld from pregnant or lactating individuals who otherwise meet the criteria for vaccination. In addition to this, the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine 
have also recommended that the vaccinations be offered to pregnant and breastfeeding individuals. Also, the World Health Organization, or WHO, just updated their COVID-19 vaccination recommendations for pregnant patients just four days ago. They now say, based on what we know about this kind of vaccine, we don't have any specific reason to believe that there will be specific risks that would outweigh the benefits of vaccinations for pregnant women. They went on to say that the final decision should be made after consulting with their healthcare providers. As for breastfeeding women, this is far easier to answer because really there are no theoretical risks at all for breastfeeding women or their babies. Some recent small studies are finding that women who tested positive for COVID did actually pass their antibodies onto the babies through breast milk. And from what we know about a mom getting the flu shot and the flu antibodies in the breast milk offering protection to the baby, we might see the same type of protection for breastfed babies of moms who get the COVID vaccine. But again, this hasn't been studied. And the Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine does not recommend stopping nursing for people who get the COVID-19 vaccine. As for me, I just completed the second COVID vaccine last week and I have continued to breastfeed my baby. My advice to you, talk to your OB or midwife. This video is not intended to convince you to get or not get the vaccine. It's simply here to offer you information, what we know so far. So what I've tried to do is to give you the most up-to-date information that we have now. Keep in mind that we're learning more every day. So in a few months, we might and most likely will know even more. So you need to take this information that you've learned from me or any other reputable source and then discuss it with your OB or midwife and then talk about your risk factors and then make the best decision for you. So to you, I will say, stay safe, exercise all the precautions you can to keep from getting COVID, and then you and your OB can make this decision together. And hey, check out my pregnancy series. I walk you through pregnancy week by week. I discuss your baby's development, common symptoms of pregnancy, common problems that you might have, and helpful solutions, and what to expect at each of your OB appointments. I'll link to that playlist right here. Click on that, and I will see you over there. If you're 17 weeks pregnant, you may be wondering when you're going to be feeling the baby move. Can you still do genetic testing? What changes your body is going through and what common symptoms you should expect? We're going to talk about all of this right now. 